You want to use RPE to program for your athletes. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use RPE when you're building out your training program. So I'm inside the program builder right now, and I have a blank workout for one of my athletes. You're going to click add exercise. Now, let's say you want to program RPE for a primary squat exercise. I'm going to come down here to the add sets field, and I want to get this athlete to build up to a top triple, okay, at RPE 8. So I'm going to go one set of three at RP7, I'll press save on that. Then I'll go one set of three at RP8, and that's their top set. Now, perhaps they are gonna do two back off sets with a 5% drop. So they're gonna build up to their top set and then they take 5% load off of whatever they do for their top set, and they're gonna do that for two additional sets. The way that I program that inside the program builder is I go two sets of three, I do give an RPE here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less than that RPE. Maybe it's a 7.5 or a 7. I'll add those sets. And then in the notes, I'll basically just tell them exactly what the drop set's going to be. Some coaches are going to have a 5% drop. Some coaches are going to have a 10% drop. I'm going to have a 5% drop. So I'll indicate which sets those are. I'll, set, I'll say set 3 to 4, 5% drop from top load. And once your athletes sort of get used to the RP style training, they'll understand what the 5% drop means. And then I'll go ahead and press save. Now, on the athlete side, when you actually make this workout available to them, they'll be able to track these loads. Um, so maybe they do 100 pounds for the triple at RP7 and then 115 pounds for the triple at RP8. And then 5% less than that on the drop sets, they'll just input the loads automatically. And on the back end, two things happen. Number one, you get access to all that data. So you can go to their calendar. Once you click calendar and they've actually updated their workout, um, you'll be able to see exactly what they did. And number two, uh, we track that data on the back end. So any of the metrics reports, as soon as the athlete updates their training loads, we pull that data and it then starts to calculate all the volume intensity and in any other metric that you would want to track. So this is how I go about using RPE with my athletes.